Here's Halliburton. And now the Indiana Pacers starters. Jackson and Turner are in the middle. Halliburton and Matherin man the backcourt together. And it's Heald in at the three. Now here's Jackson. Just four to shoot. From deep. First shot won't go. In addition to affecting the game at both ends, Matherin has already proven to be a tremendous leader. Oh, yes he has, B.A. He's a high intangibles guy. A hard worker, really leads by example, and he's clutch. He elevates his play in big-time situations. An excellent awareness and effort. Halliburton getting involved and finishing that time on the break. Martin outside. First quarter of play, a minute in. Here's Livingston, defended by Jackson. Pass to Barton. Over heeled. Oh, a rim rattling two handed jam. Oh, oh, my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out or he'll destroy you. Now here's Halliburton. Here's Matherin. Out left to the wing. Turner releases from the wing and drills it. And I'll tell you, Matherin's passing game has a solid foundation. Now hopefully it continues to grow here. Here's Livingston. From deep. It's rebounded by Indiana. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out. Losing to the Clippers. And guys, we know that you come into every game with a chance of winning. But they were just totally outclassed. Tough thing about that one is they also were playing uh, a poor opponent. So no fire in that game. And that sticks with you a little bit. They get it back through contact. Hit the shot Defense and will go to foul. the line. Isaiah Jackson. First personal foul. First team foul. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. Well, we're more than a few games into the year. How much do we know about this year's rookie class, Grant? Well, it's still early. We have to remember, we might be a half year into a decade-plus career for some of these guys. So I think it's best to reserve judgment for now. An NBA career is a marathon. Now here's Halliburton. Got a hand on it. And they get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. That'll put some fear into the shooters. And he made sure to do it early, too. Defended by Halliburton. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, Always surprising to see a miss from there. Martin against Heel. That shot is off. So the Barons will take it the other way. Pass to Livingston. Guarded by Heel. Wing shot on the way. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. No, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Now here's Heal. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Matherin. Launches a three. No good. And that makes him 0 for 3. Baltimore leading. Here's Barton. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Will Barton always going full speed. That time finds a bullet pass to a teammate. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Turner. Back to heel. Looking to end the drought. And he hits the jumper for two. 
Well, with a young perimeter player like Heald is, operating in the pick and roll with that kind of effectiveness, he can become dangerous. Here's Barton. Clock at six. Pass to Livingston. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Jackson. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. After making the playoffs five years straight, the Pacers have struggled to get back to the postseason. Yeah, you know, B.A., they're trying to go through a rebuild right now, and that's going to take some time. But the front office and coaching staff appear comfortable with this direction, knowing it might be a while before they make the playoffs again. And he drops the first. And one thing Benedict Matherin has no shortage of is raw athleticism. Now it's just a question of him honing that physical ability to be an effective pro-level player. Barton outside. Defended by Jackson. Healed with the defensive effort. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Indiana again missing. Martin against Jackson. Now here's Barton. Defense right on him. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. Well, Barton takes some tough shots. Used to making him. He did there. Outside heel. Pass to Matherin. Now Turner. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Nice focus on the finish. Turner making sure he did everything he could to muscle it in. Some changes for Indiana. Dorte comes in for Heald. And it's McConnell in for Halliburton. Here's Levingston. Here's Hawkins. Pass to Vonley. Fires from deep. And the three-pointer goes. He can hit from beyond the arc. We saw that from Vonley in college. Now just trying to gain consistency in the pros. Now here's McConnell. He shoots it. Shot's good by Matherin. You know, what a great option he gives them. Pass to Hawkins. Here's Livingston. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Hold on. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. So both teams making some changes here. Shooting for Baltimore. Livingston. One shot. Indiana trailing here. Pass to Matherin. McConnell outside. Here's Duarte. Who poked away. And here comes the break. The finish! And the finish on the break with the slam. Not an explosive leaper. Vonley does have the length to get to the rim, and you just love to see that aggressiveness there. Here's Matherin. Right wing, five on the clock. And it's Tice missing. And the Barons with possession here. Six-point game. And he was Indiana. fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. And he knocks down the first one. 
Shooting for Baltimore. Mason taking two shots. So one for two that time at the stripe. And it's Indiana's ball. Here's Duarte. And that Baltimore one goes Baltimore. in as he's fouled. First It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Shooting for Indiana. Chris Duarte. And the free throw, no good. Here's Hawkins. Looking for his first basket still in this one. McConnell outside. Smith outside. The rebound by Nimhart. Pass to Jerome. Here's Mason, covered by Smith. Here's Vonley. Got a piece of it. Here's Duarte. Lays it up and in. This fight, excellent defense. Duarte's got his second basket of the game. Baltimore leading. Pass to Nimhart. Here's Von Ley. It's blocked. And they recover it. That one goes. Count it. So it's the Pacers now. Here's Duarte. Back to McConnell. Five to shoot. It's rebounded by Von Ley. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Nimhart. And he buries his first look. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, he's clearly not satisfied with the lead they have. Took it to the rack. It would not be denied. Pass to McConnell. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter of the game. Here are the Barons with the ball. They lead by seven. Nice shot by Von Ley. Von Ley's got seven points. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Here's Duarte. Pass to Matherin. Fires the three. And he missed again. Now one of five. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Here's Nimhart. And Daniel Tice picks up the foul. Daniel Tice. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. And 101 left in the first quarter of the game. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take there. He got him. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for Baltimore. Well, it's all fast break points. Those easy buckets. They are so hard to come by in the NBA. So if you get a chance to run, you have to take advantage of it. When you make the most of second chance opportunities and you're in there and active, well, that can really put a lot of pressure on the defense. To halt the run. And the layup is Jeez. up and in. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Here's Jerome. Shot clock at six. Pass to Hawkins. Sends it home from three-point land. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Indiana on offense. Down by 12. Outside for McConnell. Cashes it in from 11 feet. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was making up the lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up.
And so it's Baltimore now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. How about the way they've attacked the...